The Air Pallet Pal is designed as a positioner. It is not a lift. It doesn't lift anything. It only positions. It does something a lift table does not do. It responds to the load, not the operator. In other words, as we put a load on here, which we're going to demonstrate for you, it will compress the positioner down, keeping the top layer of goods at the right elevation. And as we take the goods off the pallet, the positioner will raise. It also has the feature of a turntable. The turntable allows the operator to stand in one position and bring the load around to him, what we call near side loading. The Pallet Pal is unique in a number of other ways, in that it requires no installation. It sits on the floor, it has fork truck pockets on the base, it is not lagged down. In fact, we don't really want it lagged down because Pallet Pal products, like this one, are loaded with a stacker or a forklift. And when they're loaded with a forklift, we don't want it lagged to the floor so that it would be damaged if the fork truck were to run into it. Uh, frankly, our competitor in this particular field requires his unit to be lagged down. We do not. We also have fork truck pockets on the base frame. This gives it increased stability and gives the operator the, the opportunity to move the unit from location to location. The Air Pallet Pal has a spring in it but the spring is just an equalizer or a uh, counterbalance, if you will, to make the structure weightless. The airbag, which is inside the metal box, which you see under the legs, the airbag is actually doing the positioning. There's only one adjustment on an air pallet pal, and that is filling the bladder with the proper amount of air. There's a handy calibration table in the owner's manual, and the calibration is set up by air pressure. An air hose with a common air chuck is used to put air into the bladder and a gauge here is read to tell you how much air is in the bladder. The bladder is preset with a certain amount of air based on the height and weight of the pallet. So the air compresses as the load is put on the pallet and the bag relaxes or opens up as the load is taken off a pallet. We're now going to load a pallet onto this pallet pal to show you how it works. You want to position the pallet as best you can over the center of the pallet pal. And as you lower the unit down, it'll compress the airbag. You would then move the forklift or the stacker out of the way. And you would then unload the pallet. Remember this we talked about near side loading and this is very important because I don't want to walk around the pallet. In some studies we did years ago we discovered that 40 percent of the time spent loading or unloading a pallet was spent walking around it. So the advantage to the Air Pallet Pal turntable ring is the ability to stand in one place and get the job done faster. You'll notice that I'm not bending my back and that as I take these cartons off, each time I take a carton off, we are slowly seeing the pallet pal respond by raising up slightly. It's passive. In other words, it raises and lowers based on the amount of weight that sits on it. But you'll notice that whether I'm taking the first layer off or the second layer off, I'm always standing erect. And that's very important because the Air Pallet Pal allows the operator to avoid bending his back or reaching across the pallet, which would be back extension. You'll also notice that as the operator, I make no decisions. I don't have to worry about raising or lowering to the correct position, which I would have to do if it was a lift table. Because it is a positioner, it responds to the load, and it's always at the right elevation. It is trying, in effect, to put the top layer, the goods you're going to pick up, into the magic window, that 30 to 40 inch area 
where the human body is least likely to hurt itself doing work. This would then be taken off, the next pallet would be brought in.